Today we're doing cactus plants or planting cactus. There we go. Either way, my name is Joe. This is Improve with Joe, Joe Pluso Media, whatever one you want to call it. Today we're just going to be pretty chill and plant some cacti. Uh, I got a bunch from Varnish and Vine that have been properly cured. Thankfully, Will at Varnish and Vine is amazing and he knows how to properly cure them. It basically, you cut and let them dry for a month. Nothing crazy, but you still need to do it. So now that they're cured, they've been sitting, I have the clay pots with drainage holes. Very, very important to have a drainage hole. Um, I got the actual, the bucket is because we're inside and it's staying clean. Got cactus, plant, and citrus soil. Yeah, there we go. And a scooper. Let's get started. I'm gonna put on my gloves so I don't get any spikies in my hands, of course. I've had plenty of the plenty of spikes in my hands over time, and I'd like to prevent any more of these. So one of the cool things about these is that they grow really slowly, but they're very hardy. You know, you give them the right temperature, just like any other plant, they'll survive, but they take a long time to grow. I think these are very cool plants. Um, so yeah, we got that one, which I may just put them all in the same one in these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. There's seven total. So I'll probably end up putting these two together in one of these pots, one like that. We'll see how it goes. Just having some fun. Just like Bob Ross, just making some colors and some stuff on the background, just having some fun. Really the purpose of this is so that I can model these. Uh, if you've ever seen my pan channel before, I try to do a lot of 3D modeling, uh, getting more into it with reality capture. Uh, basically, now that I'm going to plant these, then I can model. I was going back and forth on if I should try to model them without the, without the planter, without soil, all that kind of stuff, or with it. Decided to just go ahead and plant with it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start getting planting. Um, I think I'll start with... Hmm. Start with the one with the crazy amount of spikes. Let's go with that one. Whoa, no! Cactus down. Cacti down. All right. This one with crazy spikes. Look at that. I mean, it's just like insane how how long those are. Some of them, unfortunately, are bent because of laying down for so long. But hopefully, in a, like you know, a week or so, maybe they'll straighten out. Definitely need to ask about that little pock mark there. I think it's fine now. It's just like when you get a cut, you know, it heals. It just for a cactus, it takes a heck of a lot longer. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just go ahead and do that one. Get the pot, take the plastic off. So yeah, this has definitely been a long-term project to get all of this stuff situated, ready to go. Um, but. Very, look, very much so looking forward to getting these done. I probably will edit this video a little bit, we'll see, I don't know. Either way, we got the cactus, we got the pot. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the simplicity of potting a cacti. Unfortunately, because of the cutting, you have, you have to put at least a section of it down into the dirt. So, you know, this section will probably be beneath the dirt, um, but we got a little good thing in there, and I'll put some additional dirt. Move it around this little scraper. Woo, getting poked quite a few times, so let's put this back on. I don't know why, in the process, how many times will I take it off and put it back on, right? Other way, getting it down there. And I'm going to call that one planted. All right, let's put it over here. That one's done. Get the next one. Process should go pretty quick. Nothing crazy. We're not doing brain surgery over here. But I'm enjoying it, and that's part of the fun. Getting back to the even though cacti are definitely not the, the first thing that a lot of gardeners or whatever get into, it could be. And I definitely enjoy them. Alright, next one. 
Ooh. Yeah, we'll just do this Peruvian apple cacti. Pretty, pretty sure that's what it's called. I only worked there for a couple weeks, so. Got another one. I think that's definitely, yeah, just right like that. You know, the root will come down this way and it'll spread around the bottom. And then I'll tilt it towards the sun so that it grows back in the other direction or grows straight up. Yeah, that should be good, just like that. Just leave that baby in there. Big ol' scoop! Yeah, yeah, come on, you can come in. Or talk, I don't care, I'm just gonna edit part of it out. But yeah, just uh, popping the cacti and trying to make sure I don't make a mess so I don't have to clean it up and vacuum later, even though I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, as you can tell from the hat, I'm in my cacti planting mode. I love it. <laughs> Sweating like it's hot outside because there's lights. I definitely have to figure out like how I'm gonna not sweat with these lights because if I have both of those lights on, that light on, then three color lights, Really? Because it's cold in well, here. Well, right, right now I don't have it. Well, I'm just, I'm hot for you. Mm. For the audience watching, I'm really hot for you, but you know. Oh. That's what I'm saying? No, I'm, I'm hot for you, <laughs> but I'm also joking about the audience, you know, joking for, hot for them. Hot for teacher. Mm. I think that was a song. But, um, oh, fuck. I'm counting the number of times I get poked and the number of times I take my gloves off and then get poked. Or maybe they are. So here we go. We got the, um... Yeah. Good. Yeah, they look good. All right. So after some delay or after a break, we have this one done. Let's go on to the third one. All right. Got a third one. If you don't mind, go ahead and take a second to like, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other video ideas I should do. Uh, I have a long, long list. So. Don't worry, much more is coming, but either way, let's go ahead and keep going with the, uh, let's go with this little buddy, but I actually want to put this double planted. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'll put it, actually no, I'll put it on the smaller one. There we go, that makes more sense. All right, so we got a smaller planter this time. Oh, okay, we're gonna put this one in there. I think that'll be perfect, yeah. A little bit at the bottom. Put that baby in there, maybe a little bit higher. Just tamp the dirt down just a little tiny bit. And there we go. We got a, another one planted. That one looks nice. I like it. Okay, I'll put this one over here. All right, let's do a regular apple cactus. That one should be good. Uh, one, two, yeah, that should be perfect. All right, let's keep it going. Good bit in the bottom, get it some room to grow. All right, here we go. We got our fourth one. Things are moving along. Now let's go ahead and do the very, very spiky one. So gloves again. <laughs> uh, thank you again for watching this random, random video. The goal of this, the end goal, is to 3D model, like I mentioned, each of these. So by planting them in the, the pot itself, I might actually paint one or two of them. I don't know, maybe feel a little creative. And then yeah, just 3D model them and try to get better at the macro shots, also mixing with the overall wide shots to really, really get the detail in the cactus, a little small. Small type detail, and I'm moving with and talking with my hands. Either way. Um, yeah. So we got this extremely prickly boy. And I'm thinking maybe uh, I'll put it in the big pot again to give it some room. But because I do have to replant one of the other cacti, I'm going to keep one of these other pots over this one. I'll make it two and one, just to give them, ah, uh, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna plant in a smaller one. And then I'm gonna replant this with another cacti that I have, 
which I think will look nice. So we're gonna just plant this one here. Yeah. This one, because it is shorter, will need quite a bit of dirt in this pot. So the bottom part of this one is right there. Just gonna nestle it in there real nice. And then just do a little bit of dirt, keep it lined up. This one definitely is pretty much too big of a pot for it, but it's gonna get, have some time to grow, some room to grow. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, I think, I think it looks okay. Stay tuned for some updates on this in a year or two, because I have a feeling I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm going to get attached to them. Maybe give them some friends. Comment below if you'd like a cactus. Happy to bring it to you if you're local in Atlanta area. Or go ahead and visit Varnish and Vine. This is the source for the cacti, the, the original source. Either right, way, we got this one done. And this one over here. Let's go ahead and plant this one. This is definitely a different species. I'm going to have to, again, refer to Varnish and Vine to figure out what this one is. But I think that's beautiful. And this one will definitely look good sticking up straight out of there. Alright, so that one has all the dirt. I'm just going to lift it up a tiny little bit. And press tamp down, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't have to be perfect, like anything else. Whew, getting stuck a few times on that one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this one right there. Cool. Now we're gonna do a little tiny cacti for the girlfriend. Be a little different. Get these out of the little container. I think for now, in the short term, it will be okay to put both of these together, you know, right next to each other. And we'll have a little room to grow, and then we'll repot them once they actually start growing up a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and break up that root ball. Not too much. Still there. That one definitely came out easier. Yeah, I think that'll be perfect right there, right next to each other, sticking up straight, a little room on the side. A little bit more soil. Sorry for the sniffles. I think it's something with the humidity change. Who knows? Yeah. How about that? I think it looks great. Alright, so that's that one done. And we just have this little tiny one left. Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to be perfect, actually. Cool, that one's that. Now, to replant a cacti, I need to go get it. I'll be right back. All right, and just to help with the cacti removal, just got a butter knife just to help separate the, uh, I'm just going to slide it right along the side. That's going to help separate the root base from the side of the pot without breaking the pot. The soil is dry right now, so that should definitely help with replanting and, and busting up that root ball. So I think, I think this one, along with this one, because they're both San Pedro, I believe, I think those are going to be great in the same one. And then I'm going to repot this baby in here. And I think that'll be nice. So either way, let's keep doing. Let's go with the gloves first, because that might help. <laughs> let's get this big pot. Let's put a little bit of soil on the bottom. There might be a repetition here. You might be noticing. All right, let's go ahead and grab it gently, 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 gently. Keep rotating it around. Just kind of like tuck in and then push forward. All right, let's go ahead and nestle it gently. Yep, and there we go. Pretty well intact root ball there, which is good. That's definitely good to see. So I'm just gonna break that up a little bit. Just 
take some of the dirt that's on the top away from it just to see how far down the how far down the root ball goes. Just breaking it up a little tiny bit. I guess I should have some chopsticks. I saw that on a on bonsai video. They use chopsticks to break up the root ball without actually damaging it. And you can tell definitely the soil gets dense, it gets compacted, especially for a bonsai. Very much so looking forward to getting into that. Got a trip planned to go down to this other shop. Abby and I have passed by once before. Oh, there we go. We're going to mix that in. I think that's good. Put that root ball right on top. Yeah, I think that'll be perfect. It's definitely still growing out of this main branch. I really wish another branch would come off, but, you know, such as life, you never know. Make sure this is standing up straight. I don't want it angled like that, of course. So we're going to do right like there. This heads up. This is where I am going to put this one. So I'm going to keep this little side area. Actually, I should scooch it just a tiny little bit. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Look just like that. And let's go ahead and remove this one. This one definitely has been stunted. Unfortunately, I put it into a small pot and it's not, you know, hasn't grown. So I think it just needs a little bit of room, a little bit of space to breathe. And who knows, maybe it'll enjoy its neighbor. But yeah, just Sticking the um, in, pushing forward. That's just kind of compacting that root ball a little bit more. Gonna help make it a little bit easier to get out. Go ahead and grab it, tilt it. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Good old uh, thing, courtesy of Arnish and Vine. Thank you guys. All right, same thing with this. Gonna break up the root ball just a little bit. Being very careful. Hope everyone's having fun, doing well, enjoying their day, enjoying their night, whatever. Getting outside, enjoying the weather just a little tiny bit here or there. All right, cool. We got this good root ball. Gonna just make a little section for it right over here. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And I think that's probably good. Look at that. Not too bad for an amateur, I'd say so. Though I did work at a cactus shop, so maybe that makes me a professional, even though I was literally there for a couple weeks. Thank you again for the job, Will. Might go back. <laughs> uh, there we go. Cool, we got that one done. All right, and for the last one, we're going to replant this little spocky boy. Cool. Put this over here. Let's go ahead and repeat the same. So this, this pot is not the best one ever for a cacti because while it does have a hole, which is good, it drains into here, but that can keep more of the moisture in there than we want. But for now, for this one, I, I think it'll be okay. The only thing I'm doing here is just building up this bottom, making sure it's not going to be too low in the pot. Doing that specifically just for the light and also make sure it models well. So now let's go ahead and remove Spiky Boy from the sides. Again, being careful not to damage it. This root ball seems very intact. Could probably just pull it out now. It's also, it was very dry this past week and dried them out. I watered it three, four weeks ago, I think. So after this, I'm definitely going to be watering it. There we go. That's not too bad. Let's put the other dirt in there. Break up this root ball, as mentioned before. Oh, you can tell the original root ball wasn't broken up at all. My bad. So let's knock that out. That'll give it some room to branch out. To seek new life, new soil, new, new, uh, yeah, holy crap, that's so, like, compacted. I'm gonna have to, there we go. All right, cool. That'll help break up that root block a little bit. Same with that. Should be fine. Got some roots intact. Gonna make a nice little bed for it. And place her on right in there. Place her, him, it, whatever. Cool. I think that's gonna be it. So. 
definitely planted, replanted quite a few cacti today. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for the actual 3D models and see how they turn out. I'm definitely excited for that. Go ahead and do a running count of what I got. I have a huge cactus outside. It's been growing probably too much. Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a process, but all right, cool. We got that one pretty well done. Here, I'll come over on this side and show them. Hey, all right, so we got this one, very, very spiky. Okay, I'm gonna clean that up later. I knew I was gonna have to vacuum at some point. <laughs> got this guy. This little spiky dude. Pretty cool. Get this one. Pretty cool. This dude, definitely a little different. I like that it's got some battle scars up here. I'm just laying on other ones. Or who knows? Yeah, I got a couple like these. This one's very cool. This one is no spike, if you can see. But yeah, so. Thank you for joining. Thank you for entering into my world for a little bit. These are part of my passion, my creativity of sense, trying to figure out, you know, like, what's my muse? What's the artist? What's the perspective, the motivation, the meaning, the point, all this kind of stuff. And... This is just one subject that will help, you know, focus in on nature, focus in on the technique responsible or technique needed to capture these. With the macro lens, it's very finicky, so sometimes getting that perfect angle, sometimes you have to use focus stacking, a lot of different techniques. Still learning, still an amateur at this, but trying to get there. So, thanks so much for watching. My name is Joe. Hope you enjoyed me planting some cacti. And... Subscribe and stick around for when I actually finish the 3D models for it. It's going to be a very busy week this week and next. I'm going to Columbia, not Columbia, South Carolina, Columbia, the country, here in a week and a half or so, 10 days, 12 days. I'm going to be documenting the USA Rugby South Panthers tour around Columbia and their game against the Columbia national team. I think it should be a great game. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I should be able to co uh, collaborate with or partner, whatever you want to call it, with ESPN Columbia to be able to show on my channel the full game plus some additional drone shots and some other camera shots and some, you know, some interviews and highlights of the players and what their names are and what their story is and potentially be able to make a full length documentary about my trip and about their trip, the whole journey and process of figuring out who's going to be the 23 of the 25 people that come along. Two people are going aren't, to aren't gonna be cut, basically. I know if I was one of those three, I'd be cut. <laughs> Do not have the skills that I, of these players. It's incredible to watch them play. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for joining along. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Or if you're not a fan of it, feel free to unsubscribe. I want people to be engaged. So if you do make it to the end, please comment. Please thumbs up. Please send it out to a friend. Um, and once again, thank you, Varnish and Vine. Uh, got great gloves. Got great product. The owner, Will, is a very nice guy. He's a good guy. Definitely go check out if you're in the Atlanta area and you need to buy any cacti or pots, or I think they have gloves and shirts and maybe even a hat now. Some merch coming. Um, thank you so much for watching. Now go out and improve and have a great one.